The Fine Arts Center Theater Company, a division of the Colorado Springs Fine Arts Center at Colorado College, proudly presents Of Spacious Skies, an audio play series. This week, episode three, Turn 87, by Jess Weaver. The year is 2021, and Talk Withers, with his championship racing dad by his side, is getting ready to compete in the annual Pikes Peak International Hill Climb Race. Give me that ratchet. Uh, that one, yes. Car lifted. Tires need to go on soon. Perhaps a sign of pressure, as his practice run earlier was on the slower side. But regardless, this family's DNA couldn't keep either of these men too far off the track. One of the few competitors who are Colorado natives. Talk. Tom Withers is young and Talk. gifted. Talk. And it's Dad. One of the fan I've been doing this stupid. This Talk. Father and veteran race car Can you shut that Withers radio off? Probably be credited. Can you even... Probably no signal left. Dad? Dad? Talk? Yes, Dad, I'm here. Oh, good. It worked. <laughs> I got it. I'm talking to him now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dad, Dad you got it. So that means you're up uh, on top of the mountain now? You're at the finish line? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm up here. Man, it may be nice down there, but I'll tell you, up here, it's colder than a monkey's... Okay, head. yeah, Dad, got it. Good. That, honestly, the, the weather looks to be getting pretty bad. Clouds are here, and they look ugly. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. Dad? Yeah, kid. Um, about last night... Hey, uh, talk. Before that thought, can you check under the driver's seat for me? What? Just go under the driver's seat of the car. Check it for me. I, I think I left something there. There's, uh... There's a box. What is this? It's called a present. You should probably just open it and find out. <laughs> it's, uh... It's, uh... It's your old gear shift knob. The original. From my car. Yeah. Wow. Man, I remember being a kid, sitting in your car, pretending to race. It feels the same. And you still feel like a kid to me, but you are the, uh... <laughs> you are the racer in the family now. I guess in some ways you always were. Thanks, Dad. I'll put this on right now. Okay. Good luck out there, son. Be smart, and most of all, be one. I see at the top. All right. Uh, Dad here. Over and out. Okay, goodbye, Dad. Hello. Are you Talk Withers? Last I checked. My name is Janine Rogers. Cool. I'm the CEO of Skyview Incorporated. Skyview? Brake pad company? Yes. Skyview? Wow. Uh, okay. CEO, I... Don't worry. It's not the first time someone's dismissed me. Women are scarce in this male-dominated industry. Oh, no, 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 no. It's, it's not that. And <laughs> you really are just a kid. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's been coming up a lot. They told me you were young. I have to say, all of us at Skyview have been watching your work. We're impressed. I'm impressed. You are? Very. Your driving is sharp, smart, calculated. The same approach we take when designing our products. Thank you. I saw your station here and I wanted to come up and introduce myself. I thought maybe after your run, we could sit down, have a chat over a beer. Wait, you you are 21, right? Uh, depends who's asking. Someone who can propose a potential partnership. A partnership? Potential. The company actually had eyes on your father, Gary, way back. We're looking to sign a face for the company and soon. Here's my card. Good luck out there, kid. We'll be cheering you on. Talk withers? Talk. Hmm. We'll pull with your car to the starting line. Green flag drops in 10 minutes. Welcome back, all you gearheads, to the 2021 Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. This race to the clouds is unlike any other in the world with 156 audacious turns and finishing at the very top of Pikes Peak. It's a wonderful day so far here. 
And up next at the starting line is registered in our Time Attack 2 division, car number 428 with driver, Talk Withers. Okay, everything is secured. Talk, thumbs up if you're ready to rip. Okay, we're a go. First green flag, second flag. And he's off. <laughs> Look at that kid fly. Boy, he's hauling. Look, look, he's coming. Wow, well, he's like a rocket ship. Hawk Withers is making incredible time so far with a solid start. What a good thing that is, because it seems now the clouds are starting to deliver some precipitation on the track. Three stumps left and right. Turn 28 ahead. Engineer's corner. Outside line, decrease speed to 50. Third gear. Good luck out there, son. Be smart. Most of all, just remember, B1. 56 miles an hour. Withers is really hauling up this mountain much faster than his practice round. And just about to the halfway point at Glen Cove. Weather seems to have started with the clouds blowing in. No update on the track. Turn 69. 70. 71. Start inside line. Decrease speed to 33. Second gear. No, no, no. Decrease to 40. Second gear. Gravel! B1. Just breathe. Oh, what the... F <laughs> oh, that was good. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, I've never seen someone work so hard at something that should come so naturally. Huh? I was just watching you look at whatever you got there and how hard you are trying to breathe. How long have you been standing there? Uh, long enough, so why don't you get on out of that car and talk to me face to face. Have a chat with your old man. In a way, I can actually hear you. Careful, your age is showing. Hey, now, you keep going like I did for 30-plus years. Uh, 27 and a half. And you'll see what these fire-breathing V8s will do to your hearing. Better believe, if I'm breathing, I will. That's my boy. Big day tomorrow. What are you doing in there? Practicing breathing. Oh, really? P practicing? If I practice breathing with the turns, it will become muscle memory. Uh, breathing was an involuntary muscle action, but okay. Deep breathing advances blood circulation and reduces pressure. Helps your mind work clearly and reduces stress. Okay. Think of it like a freshly ported matched intake manifold. I'm just making sure I'm most alert at the hardest part of the course. Well, that makes sense. But it also needs to be balanced and effortless, with no restriction like the engine. Well, sure. I've done a race or two. <laughs> I've been practicing with the videos we took, but I just found these in the garage. Yeah? What are they? Oh, my God. Are these... Photos of the hill that Mom took in 93. She took them to help you study the track, yeah? I can't believe I forgot about these. It's really cool to see how the structure of the course is the same, but the elements, the details around it have changed. Wow, the, the, the roads were still dirt. Yeah, I remember having you in my lap going through these. You were drooling in diapers, just helping me steer. And Mom. There, in this photo, right there, that, that tree, that's not there anymore. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's one of the sharper turns, bottom half of track. Yeah, that's actually turn 57. A nearly blind, decreasing radius. Dangerous, but with the tree gone, it's a lot safer for the newer drivers. You're right. I know. <laughs> but you are too, don't forget that. What? You are a newer driver. I, I think you're one of the youngest this year. Okay, newer to the driving world, but not new to the mountain. No, no, you're not. Probably one of the best things you got going for you. One of. I've never been short of confidence either. <laughs> confidence and breathing, I got it down. You're certainly a new driver. Different. I mean, you've, you've numbered every turn. Who does that? Find out what works for you and drive with it, yeah? I never raced with anyone who thinks about it the way you do. Precision leads to accuracy. 
Accuracy maximizes control. Everything has a solution that can be found in numbers. Not everything. This can. Let me show you. I was going over her today. This engine, this machine. We hand-selected every component. Work of art. It certainly is. Every nut and bolt on her picked based on its physical properties to perform its function for the power we want to achieve. Every part is the right material, the right weight, uh, the right size to work in synergy. A sum greater than the parts. So look at the engine as a whole. But you can't. They're all individual parts. No matter how big or small the part, like that brace right there, its performance requires a certain amount of endurance and strength that can be measured empirically. A single number. If you know that number, you know the limit. Maximum control. <laughs> you sound like your mother. She was also so exact. Perfect. I love that. She would be so proud of you. You think so? That's where you got all those brains. I don't know what I've done, if anything. You're going to do great tomorrow. I was looking through Twitter earlier at the other racers. They're all doing that public touting. I'm going to beat this mountain. Oh, beat the mountain, huh? Well, that's their first mistake. Exactly. They don't know the mountain enough to beat it. Well, no. I, I know that a lot of them have raced it before, but they don't know it like I do. That's... I, I'm the one, if any, who's going to beat that mountain. No. What? No, no one can beat the mountain. It's not beating the mountain. Beat the previous time set by the rest to beat the mountain. No, it's being one with the mountain. <laughs> I'm not worried about traction. I know the road. Gravel? Whoa, that last turn taken a little too wide. Oh, we've received confirmation of hail throughout the course, starting before Devil's State Playground. Let's see how Withers handles this. Tree line is now gone. The playground turned 112. Working through 8th mile. We need to make up time. You know this. Turn 115. Left outside line. Decrease speed. Gear. Turn. Turn! <gasps> oh my god! Uh, Withers has just lost grip on the devil's playground. He's barreling down the mountain! I'm not worried about traction, and I know the road. Look, Tak, you can crunch numbers until your eyes bleed, but you'll never know what that mountain is going to give you when it's race time. And knowing limits isn't going to help when she decides to randomly blow dirt into the apex of a turn. Mountains don't make decisions. I'm being serious here. Tomorrow, you will have no idea what the mountains will do to the track. And you also need to be ready for that. Sometimes it's not about facts. It's about feel you always have to pay attention of course i pay attention what kind of racer do you think the I best am? racers know that they are just passengers to the mountain's story you you speak in these absolutes but but son nothing is absolute in racing especially on that mountain don't beat it be one with it be one with the mountain be one with your car be one with yourself and just hope for the best i know i can be the best the fastest you can. And I'm really starting to get some traction. A following. I know it. And if I win, I could finally get the attention from some major players, companies who could sponsor me. Don't worry about money. Leave that business to me. If I win, I could finally have all of this. Us. Covered. I know. Uh, we've been strapped and I have a chance to fix it. But at what cost? Have you ever thought of that? You're, you're still real new to this racing and, and this race, too. I'm going to be the youngest racer to join the nine-minute club. And that's a fine goal. But do it with the mountain. She's one to reward patience and experience. You must be flexible and take what she gives you. And I guess that's why you always took just second place. That's why I always just took second place. I didn't mean... The stress of it, I, I haven't been hey, sleeping well. I, I've been there too. I get it. That was... No, don't, don't worry about it. Come here. I may drive different than how you did, but it doesn't mean I don't know how to. 
I know what I'm doing. You want me at the start with you tomorrow, or... No. I want you up top at the finish line. I'll meet you there. Okay. Up top it is. I'll get there as fast as I can. (laughs) Okay. But seriously, don't beat the mountain. (laughs) Crews are arriving on the scene. They're trying to get to the crash site. Just breathe.